So um, I'm not going to write this problem down on there, um, but I will kind of show you guys at least what the problem is asking. So the problem says, find the angle of elevation to the peak of a mountain for an observer who is 155 meters from the mountain if the observer's eye is 1.5 meters above the ground and the mountain is 350 meters tall. All right? So what they're asking us to do is find the angle of elevation. Just what we talked about. If we have an angle of elevation, we have a horizontal, correct? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. It says find the angle of elevation to the peak of a mountain. So we have a mountain, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we have a mountain, that means we have a ground. Correct? OK. So we find the angle of elevation to the peak of a mountain from an observer who has 155 meters from the mountain. So we have somebody. He is 155. We'll do like the middle of the mountain. <clears throat> so you're going to want to draw every single one of these word problems um, for you. Now, who is 155 meters from the mountain, if the observer's eyes is 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters above the ground, and the mountain is 355 meters tall. So what we know is the mountain is 350 meters tall. The observer's eye is 1.5, correct? And what they're asking us to do is find the angle of elevation from his eyes, right? Find the angle of elevation from the peak of the mountain for an observer who is at 155 meters. So we're gonna, I'm going to draw an angle of elevation, or I'm sorry, a horizontal. And what we need to do is find this angle of elevation, right? So 1.51 meters? Yeah, it's meters. Or I believe. Let me just double check. Yes, 1.5 meters. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, if the whole mountain is 350, we're not concerned about the whole mountain. So now what I like to do is I like to draw the, tri or draw the picture. And then what I like to do is extract the triangle, because really all we care about is what the triangle is, right? So let's go and take a look at the triangle. We know this length is 155. We don't know what our angle is. I'll call that theta. All right. Now, we do know that the total height of the mountain is 350. But then we're subtracting the 1.5 meters, right? Because we don't, we're not trying to find the angle of elevation from his feet. We're trying to find the angle of elevation from his eyes. Correct? So to do that, what we need to do now is go ahead and determine, well, what is 350 minus, right? This is going to be 350 minus 1.5. So that's going to be 348.5. Now I look at this and I see, well, what are my two lengths that I have? I have my, so here's my right angle. So then Mario, what am I provided? The opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? OK, and? And? I'm not provided the hypotenuse. I'm messing with you. I'm just provided the opposite and the hypotenuse. So which function then can I use? No. No. Tangent. You need to make sure you know your three functions, OK? Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. There's no hypotenuse with the tangent function. Opposite over hypotenuse. So tangent of theta equals now 348.5 divided by 155. All right, so now to find theta, we do like what we did in the other homework assignment. Theta equals tan inverse of 348.5 divided by 155. 
All right, so guys, these problems are pretty much the same thing. The hard part is going to be drawing the picture and drawing the triangle that you need. But now, the nice thing about these is we just let the calculator do the work, yeah. right? I already created the picture. I already created the triangle. Now, I just want to do let the calculator do the work. And did you have a question, Asia? Um, yeah, why did you subtract one point five? Okay, because the problem says. Um, Find the ele elevation from an observer. So we're trying to look for a, the ele angle of elevation from the server. Um, if, the mount, if the observer's eyes is one point feet or is above the ground and the mountain is 350. So if you're looking out, right, we care about the angle of elevation from your eyes, how far that's up, correct? We don't care what the angle of elevation is from your feet. We want to know what it is from your eyes. So that's why we need to compute that, OK? So then I just do. 348.5 divided by 155, and I get 66.02. So therefore, I will now write in theta equals 66.02 degrees. And that is my final answer. Um, and one last thing, actually, if you want to look at, it's not really an application that you use in your real life. But um, has anybody seen anybody hunt in this class? Okay. All right. Well, if anybody hunts, if anybody hunts with a bow and arrow, um, one thing that's very important about hunting with a bow and arrow is being able to determine the sight, right, of how far an object is. Because, excuse me, I'm just trying to talk. I don't really need to be. In, I don't really need to be interrupted. I'm almost done. So what's nice about it, if you guys look at a site, a site, um, what you have is you just put it in your eyes, and it tells you how far everything is away. Well, that's very important for a bow and arrow, because a bow and arrow doesn't have the velocity that a, a bullet does. A bullet is going to descend very, very slowly. However, an arrow is going to have much more of an arc, because there's much more air drag. So what's cool about a site is you can put it pretty much put your eye in this tube, and it will tell you how far everything is away. Or if you're like a golfer, a lot of times people use them actually in golf. They look through it and they say, oh, how far is everything away? Well, how does a little instrument like that determine how far things are away? It's really actually not that complicated. All the thing is doing is just using trigonometry. It's just saying, oh, if we go up this angle, and then it'll be at that point. So literally, literally it's just a computer using a site to determine like, what, the, um, what the distance is going to be. And that's where sine, cosine, and tangent come from. Or not, they don't come from, but that's how one way they were used. So it's an application. There's an application so you can understand it. So then when your girlfriend's like, oh, I wonder, this is so cool. I wonder how they can figure out how far to get things. Oh, it's easy. It's just triangles and trigonometry. What? What do you mean? Well, if you create a triangle and use the sine, cosine, tangent, you guys do it. Oh, come on. Why are you guys putting stuff away? Your homework's not done, Mario. Oh, I'm checking them. Don't worry. Western Michigan University. Where are you from? Uh, where are you from, Michigan? Detroit. Guys, homework is on the board. I'll walk around and check all your assignment organizers. Make sure you have it written down. Oh, that's okay. There's extras. Sure. Got them written down. All right, let's go. Write down all your homework. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Let's go. Write down your homework. Yes, all right, in a sheet of paper. Uh, you have plenty of time. Uh, let's go. Go ahead and sit down. You have plenty of time. Uh, Jessica, you have the homework written down? Write the new one down. It's one through eight, page 105. Page 105, one through eight. That's a crazy way of writing. 
Page 105, good. All right, Elizabeth, why aren't you writing down the homework? Oh, because I'm here, sorry. I have a question. Yes. What, math is, what type of math is used for uh, applied scopes? Um, diffraction, which would kind of be like angles and so forth. Where's your assignment organizer? Like diffraction, polygons. A lot. You have to be like a master mathematician. Let's go. It takes two seconds. Seth, you're killing me. I don't get these. I did not finish these. It's was like two missing problems. Just do page 105. I didn't get these. You didn't get these too? What do you mean? All right, Samantha, you're good. I didn't get these or these. All right, so you need to ask me a question so you can do them. Yeah. Okay, well, just remember, do you remember what the triangles are? The right triangles? Do you have those in your notes, though? What this right? It doesn't matter. That's the short leg, right? Yeah. To go from the short leg to the long leg, or short leg to the hypotenuse, what do you multiply by? To go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by what? Two. To go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by two. So just multiply this by two, which would be 10.